is the question of should you take steroids? Shirt off, pants down, what's up everyone? You know, today I thought I'd go ahead and give you guys basically a day in the life or what I do first thing when I wake up um, and then throughout the day. So to kind of answer some questions, I know you guys kind of wanted to know what goes on. So first thing I do guys, I just woke up, is it's time to eat. And I do nutrient timing, but first thing before I do anything, have my coffee, anything, is I drink water. You know, you've been sleeping for eight, 10, 11 hours, however long you sleep. That is your body being dehydrated and using all your water storage. So first thing first, drink some water. So now that that's out of the way guys, we get the good stuff, we get the coffee. I made it last night, luckily, so I don't have to wait for it to brew. I kinda like to take the lazy and easy way out, which means pointing in the microwave. All right guys, now a lot of you are gonna question, what is this that I'm eating? And what it is, is it's a scoop of whey protein that's low in carb, and it is a scoop of almond butter that I get ground up, um, so it has no additives at my grocery store. They have like a machine where it presses the almonds into fresh almond butter. And what I do is I mix water with that and then I microwave it for a minute so it warms it up a little bit. It's kind of like an oatmeal type texture and you just keep stirring it up until you get it to the right consistency that you're really looking for. So I've got everything good to eat guys. I got my coffee, got my eggs that I seasoned with garlic salt, got my turkey bacon, and have my protein and almond butter blend. So the reason I chose these foods guys is I changed up my diet recently. I started doing nutrient timing which works incredibly, especially if you're trying to do a bodybuilding type nutrition plan. And what I mean by that is I wake up, your body is already wanting to burn fats, so why take in two sources of energy being carbs and fats? Your body is always gonna take the path of least resistance, which is gonna be the carbs. So what's it gonna do with all that fat you take in the morning? Is it's gonna store it. So what I do is in the morning, until all the way up until my pre-workout meal, which is later on in the day around four o'clock um, p.m., is I only eat fats and protein. So, as you guys can see, I have the protein, I have the almonds, the fats, I have the eggs, which is proteins and fats, I have the turkey bacon, which is protein, and then my coffee is pretty much zero calories aside from the creamer, but it's dairy free and everything. So there's a few carbs in there, but it's only like a few grams, nothing serious. So that's the macros, guys. So in case you guys are curious, that is what I do. I eat all my fats and my protein in the morning. Okay, guys, as you can see, um, we have all the supplements on the desk. But what I'm gonna do guys is go on my computer, answer some emails. This is kind of my routine every morning as I make my breakfast, bring my breakfast, my coffee and everything up here and eat while I answer emails. That's why, I, you know, you're kind of like killing two birds with one stone, you know. My days are pretty full, especially with answering all your guys' requests on Instagram and everything. I try and answer as many as I can. Um, and I'm sorry for you guys out there that I don't get to, I really am. Um, but I just try and answer as many questions and emails as possible. Um, emails definitely taking priority because it's usually job related. But after I'm done with this guys, it is Valentine's Day. So what I'm gonna do is try and get some things done, plan some things out for me and my girlfriend, um, and then go to the gym, work out with my friend Quaid. I'll show you guys some footage of that and pre-workout. And then after that, I will probably cut the vlog off a little bit short because it's not really gonna be a standard day. It's more so gonna be me spending time with my girlfriend. I don't wanna be vlogging around or doing any type of social media or any filming. Okay guys, now it is about close to two o'clock, you know, just coming up on two o'clock p.m., um, which means I'm gonna eat a little bit earlier than I normally do. Like I said, I normally eat around 4 p.m. and then head to the gym and get there around like five. Um, kinda let my food digest for a little bit and then head into it. But, you know, with it being Valentine's Day, I have a full schedule. I don't really have anything going on right now. I answered my emails and everything a little bit faster. I'm gonna do my pre-workout meals. I transition to my carbs like I was talking about with my nutrient timing. So now what I have is 80 grams of oatmeal, old-fashioned oats, just with some water, um, microwave it, and then I throw some blueberries for some extra carbs. A full banana, this is probably 100 grams if I had to guess. And then I do chicken breast, 
as my protein source. So like I was talking about how I start with the fats and protein early on, now I am transitioning to my carbs and my protein later on and very low on my fats. In the oatmeal guys, I also include cinnamon and um, zero calorie flavor drops, um, preferably banana or chocolate is the one I usually go with. This one has banana at the moment. But I choose cinnamon for the specific reason of it's a natural diuretic and it really helps aid in fat loss. So when I'm cutting or dieting, I include cinnamon on almost anything, whether it's on my sweet potato, in my rice, in my oatmeal. Um, I try and average a little bit over a teaspoon a day of uh, just ground cinnamon. So not cinnamon sugar, let's be clear. Okay guys, so I had my pre-workout meal like you saw before. Went to the gym and did some shoulders. I was gonna film, but my friend Quaid ended up bailing. So I couldn't really get footage in the gym that would've been good enough. But what I wanted to address, guys, as you can see, Alyssa's driving as we make this video, is the question of should you take steroids? and my take on it. And as you guys can see, it's Valentine's Day. We're gonna go eat, so I thought what better time than to address this subject for you guys. It's a great time. It's a great time. And um, so steroids, should you take them? I think you have to weigh the benefits and the negatives of the situation and then really make your verdict on what you wanna do. If you're planning on making a career out of bodybuilding, being an IFBB pro, or um, fitness model, something where your physique is really gonna dictate how much money you're gonna make, then I say yes, run steroids. By the way guys, this is not medical advice. Do not do anything without doctor supervision. Do not do anything unless it's legal in your country. And now that that's out of the way, like I was saying, you know, I would say yes. If, like I said, you're trying to do it for a career and your livelihood is based on it, obviously the top Olympia competitors are gonna have to because it's so competitive and they need to earn their paycheck and their sponsors, etc. Now, if you're just trying to attain a good looking physique, statistically, most girls do not find the overly muscular guys attractive. And what I'm talking about is the top level competitors that you see on the fronts of magazines or on the Olympia stage because they find it intimidating and too muscular. The most of the time, what girls find attractive is gonna be the physiques of more commonly like men's physique, but not to the level of the pro like um, stage that you're getting to, but more so just the good beach body. And she's probably witness to this. Would you want to date a huge behemoth or would no. you want just a guy that's in good shape and is in good condition? So, I mean, not to dictate whether, you know, you want to run a steroid cycle based on that, but that alone, if you're going to the gym, like a lot of guys I know out there, is to get more girls and just to be more attractive in general and attract more females, then I would say it's not worth it. You can achieve an amazing physique naturally that girls are gonna like more than the guys that are on steroids. So also, you know, with the side effects, weighing the benefits and the negatives, there's gonna be so many side effects. So if you're already overweight, what just happened? I know, my car just clunked. <laughs> Do it like, come on. Yeah, the check engine like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's okay. What is it? Is it your fluids? I don't know. Alright, well, we might break down on the way to dinner. Oh, for... <laughs> what is up with the I car? I have no or... idea. Is it like giving out? It feels like it's like giving yeah. out. Yeah. Or your transmission slipping or something. I don't know. Interesting. I have to like turn your car off and restart it and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Just so we don't like break or break me. down on the freeway. Alright, well we might break down on the way to dinner. Um, but like I was saying before, um, you have to weigh the benefits and the negatives like I was saying. So if you want to compete, then yes, but then you really have to think about the negatives. The side effects is what I'm really talking about. The acne, the hair loss if you're prone to it, the estrogen conversion, gyno, um, anger. Um, it's not necessarily anger, but whatever your personality is, steroids are gonna escalate that to another level. So if you're already an angry person as is without the use of gear steroids, taking that is gonna take it to a whole nother level that you're really not gonna enjoy. It's not stopping the beeping. I'm telling you, we have to pull over and turn off the car and see what happens. And then I'll probably check your fluids if you have any paper towels or anything. No. Well, I might, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go right here. Yeah, I hope you have a flashlight or something too. That's the phone. 
All right, guys, looks like I lucked out on Valentine's Day because I'm not gonna have to go take her to dinner. <laughs> you're such a bully. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just weigh the benefits, the negatives, make sure you're getting the right dosage, the right protocol, run a PCT always, you know, you always wanna be safe. Um, there's tons of research studies out there on steroids, but before you do steroids, I always recommend SARMs, which is what I personally take. Um, and as you guys saw before my workout, I didn't really show it. But one hour before my workout is when I take my supplements, which is gonna be my MK677, my MK2866 or Austrian, and my Cardrain, which is my combo for cutting. So I hope you guys got some enjoyment out of the video. I'm gonna see if we're totally just broke down right now. And hopefully we're not. I hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day either with your significant other or maybe by yourself or with the gym or whatever your true love is. Make sure to stay shredded, stay aesthetic. Signing out. Shirt off, pants down. What is up, Alyssa AW? <laughs> Coming at you live from Kenny's vlog. That's what they're called. And um, happy Valentine's Day. This kid is um, a little pooped out. So I'm finishing the vlog for now. Um, and that's it. That's it? <laughs> I don't know what else to say. You gotta do something. You gotta, I don't know, make a plug-in for merch or something. Okay. Buy a shirt off, pants down, something. I sell health and wellness products. No, 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 no. Go stuff. check out my Instagram. No, 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 you can no, no, get no. it from Kenny's. It says Kenny Ko, right? Yeah. Um, from Enhanced Athlete. Um, all right, signing Bye. out. <laughs> <laughs>